Hi there, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to be talking about tick bite, how to safely remove ticks. And this is rather appropriate as it is tick season at the moment. My name is Sarah Hunstead. I'm a pediatric nurse, mum of two and founder of CPR Kids. And in this Facebook Live today, I'm going to be talking about uh, what are ticks, complications from tick bite, prevention of tick bite, and most importantly, how to safely remove a tick. And it's not what you think. It used to be that you'd just get the household tweezers or maybe a bit of tea tree or some metho or something like that and pop it on. But what we know now is that there is a huge increase in the incidence of complications from tick bite, including tick-induced anaphylaxis mammalian meat allergy um, and less commonly mammalian milk and product allergy as well. So this is something that we really need to change how we are removing ticks. Okay, incredibly important. But let's start. Let's start by I'll share my screen and I'll show you uh, the ticks that we are talking about. So, oh, whoops, I have just uh, pressed the wrong button, but there we go. So I'm talking about the paralysis tick. Now, I'm talking about the ticks that are here in Australia, um, particularly along the east coast in Australia. And you can see here, and this website that I've taken this uh, picture from is the Milton Village Vet. So thank you very much, Milton Village Vet, um, for these photos. But you can see um, it ticks also from the different life cycle here. So you've got the nymph and the larvae, which are the young ones. Then we have an adult female and an adult male. And also you can see the engorged uh, tick there after it has been feeding as well. So these are what the ticks look like. And they are hanging around just waiting to drop onto a meal. That is what they do. Okay. So they are hanging around. They are hungry. And they're just waiting for some lovely, warm-blooded creature um, to come past for them to have their snack. That's what they live for. And if they find you, then that's what they're going to absolutely latch on to, that or your child. Okay. So important to know if you are in a tick area. Have a look. I'm going to actually put a whole lot of resources in the comments below um, when uh, I finish this so that you can look at maps, at the different life cycles, all of that kind of stuff to know that if you are actually in a tick area and everything. And particularly uh, where I come from uh, and also particularly on the uh, northern beaches area of Sydney, there is you'll be knowing that you've got a lot of these. Um, so I am coming to you today from Bidjigal land and so make sure that you know if you are in an area that's got these guys all right so here we go first of all let's have a little chat about um, the complications from uh, tick bite so yes you can get a large local reaction so it might be and I have some oh I didn't I wasn't thinking very well when I drew these on was it where are my ticks oh there we go. Okay. So I've got my little nymph ticks here and then I've got my adult tick here. Okay. And next time I'm going to draw these in front of the camera rather than draw it on my arm first, because this is going to be uh, quite tricky for me to be <laughs> doing this. Anyway, so you can have a local reaction. So you might end up with redness and swelling all around the area. It can go from joint to joint. So it can be quite severe. Um, there is also a complication of tick-induced anaphylaxis. And I'm just talking about, um, you know, the, uh, the, the ones as particularly today in relation to how we remove ticks. There are other tick-borne illnesses as well. But tick-induced anaphylaxis, which is a sudden um, and severe allergic reaction, and also mammalian meat-induced anaphylaxis or allergy, and that's associated with previous tick bites. So what happens is, is that a person um, has been bitten previously uh, by ticks, and then they developed, it can be um, mild to life-threatening reaction to mammalian meats. So we're talking beef, lamb, pork, goat, venison. So you basically cannot eat mil um, milk, sorry, meat 
or any meat products that includes gelatin and so on. And these things are in so many different products. And what we're seeing is a big increase in the rates of um, complications from tick bites, such as mammalian meat induced anaphylaxis and allergy. Now, it, I've been talking about this for a while, for a few years, but there are two families in my team at CPR Kids, so um, a part of the CPR Kids team, who have mammalian meat induced allergy. So that's two out of 40 in just our little group. So it is something that is absolutely growing. Okay, so be aware of it. I'm going to post resources for you to read. And everything that I am talking to you um, about today is coming from uh, Allergy Anaphylaxis um, Australia. I'll put the resources down. So ASCIA, they are the governing body, and Tiara, which is Tick-Induced um, Allergies Research um, and Awareness, and that is a fantastic resource as well, which I will be putting in um, to the comments below. So um, the other less common is a mammalian milk or, um, or product allergy as well. So my goodness, all of these things can happen. So that's why it's so important that we do remove ticks safely because when a tick bites and it gets irritated so when we you know pop the metho on it or the tea tree oil or peppermint oil or try and remove it with household tweezers it actually becomes irritated or is squeezed and it puts in that allergen containing saliva and that's how we may end up developing um, these complications so the key here is, of course, prevention. So preventing tick bite in the first place. But if that hasn't happened, it's how to remove it safely without introducing more of that allergen-containing saliva. And that's what I'm going to go through with you today. So I am going to post a video in the comments below from Tiara that talks all about prevention of um, tick bite. So it talks about things such as tucking trousers into socks, um, using, uh, you know, if you are in a tick prone area, making sure that you uh, appropriately spray your backyard using, um, as well, if you're going bushwalking or into a tick area, using appropriate repellents and all of that kind of stuff. Wearing light colours so that you can see the ticks more easily if they're in the clothing and making sure, particularly with kids as well, that you check their body and, of course, your body for ticks after you've been outside in a tick area or have been going for those bushwalks. Particularly with kids, making sure that you are checking behind the ears, around the hairline, up into the hair as well, all around here because ticks love those nice warm areas. Thinking about under the arms, um, in the butt crack, okay? So thinking about all of those places in boys, particularly, you know, little ones, making sure that you check under the scrotum as well, because that is something that I've seen a few times is ticks that have gone up in shorts and uh, around the groin um, because in the undies line there. So believe me, the ticks love to find places like that. I personally have removed ticks from my husband's butt crack after a bushwalk. It is not something that I wish to repeat. Um, it was not a pleasant experience for anyone. So, yes, um, it does happen. So I'll pop that video in the comments below for you so you can watch all about prevention. But let's get into what you need to do if you are bitten by a tick. Okay. So first of all, so you or your child. First thing, and I'm just dropping over here, okay, is you need to have in your first aid kit this, which is a permethrin cream, okay? It's a permethrin cream. You can get this over the counter from your pharmacy. And this is what we use on the little larvae or nymph ticks, okay? And this is an ether containing spray. So this is a freezing spray and you can get this over the counter from your local pharmacy and this is what we use to kill the adult ticks in place, okay? So the idea is, is we are killing them without disturbing them, 
okay, and killing them in situ. So making sure that they die where they are. We're not using tick removal forceps. We're not doing any of that. We're killing them in situ. So first of all, what are we going to do? For the little nymphs, so here we go. So these guys here, we are going to put this uh, permethrin cream over the top and leave that in place, okay? And that uh, will hopefully um, get rid of them all, so that will kill them. Now, what I'm going to do is put the resource from Tiara in the comments below so you can watch all about that, okay? So remember, it is the permethrin cream for the nymphs, okay, and larvae. All right. Now, next, let's get on to why we're all here. This is what we're waiting for. If you or your child is bitten by an adult tick, so the ticks that look more like this guy here, okay? All right. Now, the other thing that I've done is that I've given him six legs. They don't, they've got eight legs, just like spiders. Yep. So but anyway, so anybody who's watching and going, Sarah, you did not draw that tick very well. You're right. I didn't. I didn't at all, but that's okay. So you are going to get your ether containing spray. Okay. And what you're going to do, you're going to hold that about one centimetre, okay, above the adult tick. All right, and you are going to spray that ether containing spray five times one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're then going to wait a few minutes. Okay, you're going to get your magnifying glass. So I've got my trusty little magnifying glass here from some kind of kit that my daughter has. Um, if you and then you are just going to have a look at the tick, okay? Have a really good look. Now, my vision isn't great without my glasses on, so hence the reason I'm doing these ones. Have a look. After a few minutes, are its legs still moving, okay? If its legs aren't moving anymore, it's dead, okay? Great, we're done. If you can't see, okay, oh, no, hang on a sec. Yeah, I'm unsure or... Yeah, okay, yep, no, its legs are still moving or you don't have a magnifying glass to really have a look and see what's going on. You give another five sprays. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. That thing is dead now. Okay, definitely frozen dead. But you still don't go and get your tweezers and pull it out now you let the tick drop off itself. Even if the tick is dead and you go and use those household tweezers and get that out, you can still squeeze that allergen-containing saliva in and we don't want that. So if the tick isn't dropping off, what Tiara recommend is that you have it removed by a medical professional who've got the very fine specific tick forceps, okay? So Tiara recommend that if uh, the tick has not dropped off, that you have it removed by a medical professional. And one thing that's really, really important is that if you have a tick allergy and you are bitten by a tick, that you follow your action plan, please, okay? Follow your action plan. So what I want you to do, please, 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 go to your pharmacy, add these things to your first aid kit, permethrin cream, and an ether containing spray, freezing spray. So this is what you want. Tell your pharmacist it is for tick removal, okay? And they will know exactly what to give you. So have these in your first aid kit. So, so, so important. Remember, we freeze, don't squeeze or tweeze because the aim is, is that we want to actually kill that tick in situ and then remove it by letting it drop off or as Tiara recommends by a medical professional. Okay. Really, really important. Now I am going to pop 
all of those resources into the comments below. If anybody has any questions at the moment, then please, now is the time to ask. Please put them in the comments and we will endeavour to try and ask them. And if I don't know the answer, which is entirely possible for sure, I will, but I, what I know is the where the experts are. So that is Tiara and that is Askia and I can absolutely find the right resource for you from there. So I hope this has been helpful. Please, 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 we need to change the practice. So many people don't know that we need to be freezing ticks. Please, please, please spread the word, share this video, share the tiara resources um, so that everybody is removing ticks safely because we've got to change how we were doing it. It's really, really important. So thank you so much, everyone, um, and I will see you again soon.